Yeah, like you can d damage like aircraft with it, but against like any like oh, that's proper right. armor, it doesn't do yeah, anything. That's pretty good. Good beacon. Thanks. You're welcome. Now control objective echo. I'll look for him. Thanks. I'm not seeing him yet, but they might be in the building. Oh, no, I shot a gun. They came in on the, uh. the ATB. Sorry, soldier. We've neutralized objective Bravo. We're taking ATB to A after we got this cap. Ooh, I just got hit by something. Woohoo, I got muzzle break. Yeah, I'm liking this MG4. I mean, the AWS is the most machine gunny feeling machine gun, but I think the MG4 is a close second. Uh, I think the M60 feels pretty good to shoot. M60 is, is good, but it's not as chunky as the AWS, which I never really compared to. Yeah. That's because he's just OP as Hell and BC2 and they had a nerf a bunch of times. I still prefer the song C2, but I had the uh, double tap. Okay, I got it shot away, by uh, J Bumper in the building at B, so he might try to cap it. I didn't like the saw in BC2 because, like, the way the like recoil animation worked, like you'd shoot it and then it would like bump, but the bump was like delayed. So if you're trying to tap fire it, like you'd end up like you couldn't just it just end up being completely fucked up. It's kind of weird. Uh, I swear to God, if you put a double tap perk on it, you know the one that increased fire rate, it actually made it. Less, uh, it wasn't double tap. That was like hot four. I swear to God, there was an extra fire rate. DC two had magnum ammo, which was really bad, unbalanced. Nah, I'm telling you, there was a rapid fire perk too. Not in two. Not in bad company too, no. Not in any bad game. That bad. This is Call of Duty four. Uh, you're probably right. And it was completely useless because the mech, because the stopping power perk increased your DPS the same amount, but you didn't uh, waste ammo nearly as much. Okay, we have neutralized objective Delta. I got you, Neb. Thanks. Oh man. Objective Delta, now under our control. I can't believe no one's been smart enough to kill my beacon yet. I think you might not notice it's up there. It's a really good beacon. Thanks. Have spotted hot dog machine gun just west of your position. You running uh, soft lamb or are you running proximity scan? No, they reached us B, by the way. I see him. Yeah, I'm on the point of B. I'm actually at a good place to cap it in. Sorry, I tried to get out to get him. Uh, man, okay, man, this, this MG4 with the INRV is insane. Insane in the membrane. <laughs> Holy god. Yo, remember when like, right up was freaking the freaking fuck out about battle packs? Came, that was hilarious. The little bird went under the overpass just to shoot me. So and by Reddit, I mean those were also guilty of it. What didn't they like about Battle Pack? Oh, uh, they thought that they were going to be like the Mass Effect 3, like you have to like buy them or something like that. Uh -huh. I mean, you didn't have to buy them at Mass Effect 3, but like... They thought that they were it's going to be It's all pay like... to win, man. It's all pay to win. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I just pulled off a straw kill on the little bird. I, I still anticipated like how I thought how they actually managed delay. to make Mass Effect the multiplayer good. Dude, straw kills and helicopters are so satisfying. Ugh, I anticipated him coming across the corner. It was magical. Alright, puppy, you don't need repairs then. Have less than half life. Guy's not taking any fire, not an enemy around. I start repairing him and he drives off. Enemy machine got spotted. Just west of where you are. What's all? C4 up. Fuck. Oh, I am using the slugs. What the 
I just saw this lab guys in the beacon. Be careful. Looks there like is a spawn out, beacon over at E, but I'm sure you guys could see that. Oh hey, the LAV is shooting us at B. I will try to work on it. If I feel like it. Okay, the LAV is backed off to their territory. Now uh, we got a tank at B. Yep, I'm coming to help. The LAV is moving back. I'm gonna try to support the tank. LAV is coming back to shoot us. Uh, the tank at B is driving to C, it looks like. Okay, the LAV is back to shoot at B. Yeah, and they have the, uh... Actually, from where we have the beacon, you could probably easily drop in some other, uh... AA gun. The other guys decide to finally take you from okay, that small beacon downstairs. Away. Tanks coming to B. I should probably switch to an engineer with a jab. So I can shoot while I'm in the... Okay, I'm at E. Okay, I'm hitting the tank. Actually, it's got it. Yeah, some douchebag uh, jumped out of the jet up there and tanked Objective me. Objective Charlie has been neutralized. Holy crap, so I got up in the first place, but. So you guys were talking about uh, hitting helicopters with a small. I kind of like hitting them with tank shells. Yeah, tank shells, especially the uh, since the shoots the save hole, I've gotten like a certain number of tank kill of uh, helicopter kills with the tank. I hit it with a single round, but it must have been a near miss or something. I like shooting. I I've 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 I remember once in BF3 I got a, a headshot of a guy so flying a helicopter using the canister shell. So, uh, I just had a guy parachute onto the top of my tank and die. Do we have uh, an attack order? Roof. Egger. What kind of attack order? Oh crap, am I leader still? Yeah, I guess. Uh, Just I can't see these right now, so I can't issue an order for it. Okay, I'm gonna try to This video game is fun to play. <laughs> Why are you laughing at that? Objective Charlie is neutralized. I just enjoy it. Did I like playing this game? Well, it's just... We're going to proclaim this. It's like, no, because it's like so many people like bitch about this game. Oh, I just shot out the lower pilot. <laughs> I agree. I have a lot of fun with this game. Uh, it is so much. It's far from perfect, but that's part of the fun, too. Train club, if you left. Like, I mean... Like, every game has, like, EV, like, the bugs just make it more fun, I think. They cleared us off the roof, guys. Because it's like, then it's just, like, stupid shit happens that, like, 
if you don't take yourself so perfectly seriously, you get a laugh. And oh shit, whoever put that beacon up, it's really good. We're all talking like, uh... Knights of Space program? Bugs? Oh, you mean the one that shoots you up into the air at a billion miles an hour? That was awesome. <laughs> that was amazing. Oh god, I'm not gonna hit Oh, wow, Objective neutralized. Objective Alpha. Oh my gosh, shoot a rocket into an open elevator, no one dies. The elevators, speaking right of there. buggy, elevators are really, really buggy. Yeah, they are. So, I mean, like, admittedly, it's probably the only way they could, like, do it without making the laggy as hell, but... Like, uh, anyone else there was actually an elevator on one map in a battlefield in the Special Forces expansion for BM2? And that thing was just... Like, you, your guy was basically, uh, like, like jumping up, up, continuously jumping up and down as, uh, it went up. Yeah, whoever spawn beacon that was, it's been cleared. Yeah, the little bird got pissed, uh, pilot got pissed off that I shot him out with the Comeback 45. Wow. Whoa, that's a lot of damage. They really want to take and keep B, I guess. I'm not happy to throw myself into it. For some reason, we're not losing that badly. I guess the rest of our team has to Uh, we're doing very well right now. Not, we don't have many, we have less tickets than them, but a lot more flags. Yeah. I'm actually going to head to E. Oh yeah, go have fun at E. Is this guy just killed one? Uh, anyone want to get on the B flag? I need more bodies on the B flag. Alright, I'm going in. Thank you, I guess. They're all shooting at the stupid office building. They got a sniper, like, in the direction of their spawn. I'm keeping them busy today. Objective Alpha has been neutralized. <laughs> okay, get out of the before the snipers get you. Uh, they're like moving in there, in the aircraft is nearby. Uh, do we have any spawn beacon yet? No. I think the Chinese soldiers look the most menacing, actually. Kind of over Roger. Holy crap, good squad wipe with that hand grenade. I like how, like, every video game that portrays China is always played in China. Even, like, even, even, even generals where they were the good guys. It's like because they, uh, because it portrays terrorist attacks occurring in China, they banned it. Like even though like even though like uh like in that game like China are like like they're like heroes who defeat the terrorists forever at the very end. I haven't finished beating generals, I kept getting bored of them. I thought it was a bad command and conquer. Objective X. Uh, this is a good game, but a bad command and conquer. I'm heading to C. Damn it, C right now. It it. Oh god, we're losing D, aren't we? My favorite Command and Conquer was actually probably C and C3. So the thing is, uh, generals had like actually some of the most interesting ideas for, you know, despite being set in the modern day, it had the most weird and interesting um, uh, mechanics. I thought it could be. Stop! Stop! It's 
sound familiar? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Like, for example, the Chinese got had hackers, and you could just hack her farm. It was a, a beautiful thing, but that was really unbalanced. Yeah. Like, all, all the, uh... All the like guys have like a way to get like infinite money, Spot but like the Chinese definitely had the best one because they had to be so stupid. And like the, the thing was though that like because like they rank up every time they pay for themselves, and when they rank up they make more money, so they pay for themselves faster. So you could very quickly get your guys making like ten dollars, like each dude making like a whole lot of money really quickly. But it, it's like a Morrowind where you, you can make mobile. potions to make yourself uh, make potions better. And so that quickly got out of control. Something they fixed in other Elder Scrolls to degree. Uh, not in Skyrim. Well, in Skyrim, it was still in Skyrim, but it was much more roundabout. You could uh, make a potion that makes you better at smithing, and then make uh, smithing items that make you better at making potions. 20 minutes into the game, you can make the guns. I mean, it was like tedious <laughs> as hell, but you could do it. And no, it was actually pretty fun because it, like, you could annihilate the level scaling that way. Yeah, but Skyrim is not a game for you know competitive you playing. Are. Yeah, exactly. Like if you're like, breaking it, like it, you're breaking it on your own terms. You yeah, but I subjected out. Exactly. Mechanics that are game breaking because they didn't think it through. Just found any interest. Appears to be a hostile chopper. Yeah, here. Yeah. Advised, we have just taken control of objective the alpha. The difference is, is like in command and conquer. The hackers really were kind of hard to deal with. You go, quite like that. Funny enough, the best way I found to deal with them as Americans was uh, General Carvel. Or the uh, fighters. No, um, not Carvel. Yeah, what the hell is this? Colonel Carvel or whatever the hell the uh, command of the Colonel Burton. Where you can, uh, you just General Carvel was from Red Alert 2. Yeah. Uh, he was hey, a man. He was a dude in the F and D's. He was fat. He was fat. He had just taken control Good of Jesus. objective echo. Now, uh, you'd go knife all the hackers because he doesn't have cloak and he'd knife him. Actually, the uh, like Chinese commando you know is probably like my favorite one. Yeah, Black Lotus is really good. Because she could like capture buildings in like a second. I didn't think that the Americans got better unlocks because the uh spotted hostile shot. Okay, you wanna go take the you know? Be advised, we have lost objective delta. Just that delta. Crap, well, like the thing that made the like Pathfinder so OP was like they could still stealth while shooting. Yeah, that was kind of yeah. Actually, the funny part of it is uh, clear out the GLA defensive yeah. positions. Mm -hmm. Cause, well, yeah, because the Stinger site was all manned. So you get like three Pathfinder squads, you can open up bombing runs for anything you wanted. I like how like the nuclear missile was like ironically the shittiest against the GLA because they like they had the like free rebuilding thing. We've just lost control of the objective echo. Yeah, like you basically, you basically had to uh, blow them up twice before you could, they could uh, re you, they're done forever. Oh yeah, he did snipe one of the vehicle drivers. Yeah, that was... It was like, like, by the expansion pack, there were so many things that could do that. Like, the Chinese would have the, like, neutron mine. I remember. Building between A and B. 
I would. I actually got no, out of my no helicopter. That's how I got onto it earlier. You're gonna need it. You're gonna need to take aircraft up there. Okay, okay, they're taking A. Oh, the uh, flashbangs? Yeah, but no, but the, like, but the flank tank was so much fun, though. Like, that's always, that's always the, like, best. Okay, David, she's got her weapon. It's like the Tesla tank. Because nobody knew what it did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the best unit in Red Alert 2 was the uh, Prism tank, because okay, once you got that to level 3, a uh, single shot from it could literally kill, okay, like, it would arc so much that, like, you could destroy, like, an entire, like, an entire infantry column with, like, just three shots from it. And then you it was. Back it up with a, you back it up with a couple of, uh, Prism tanks. Because Prism tanks are desperately good. Come on, let me help you. Yeah, that was just... That was absurd. And then they would arc is the thing. Like, they could one-shot infantry, which is like a lot of things that came to that, but they could arc. Oh, no, it wasn't just that. Then you backed them up with Mirage tanks. Mirage tanks one-shot at infantry. Two-shot oh, yeah, at heavy tanks, and three-shot at apocalypse tanks. Wow. Okay, 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 okay. Like the allies in that game, like, oh, this shit died so quick. Oh, hey, I got the MG4 stubby grip. Is that any good? Uh, it's a stubby grip, so it's kind of like, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. there's no reason to ever play the Soviets unless you're going around, really. Uh, uh, competitively, I don't mean... Play the Soviets because you're a real man. I played the Soviets because I like Tesla troopers and flag troopers. What's going on here, guys? West of your location! Oh, wow. Holy crap, I didn't realize the sword was going to turn on the second echo. Holy crap, this stubby grip is pretty good. Thanks, Tip. This is a murder machine. This is insane. Oh, hi, tank. How you doing? Yeah, I got oh, over got taken out by the tank. Nice. That happened. <coughs> it's over two. You just neutralized objective down one. What is it about this Zero. map here, the tracking skies for is it, uh, going like 50 or 60 in one? Because and never all right, because what happens is on this yeah, map, because there's so many big buildings, now. you can uh, easily put something in between you and a lock-on launcher. I don't mean yeah. that. Yeah. I mean, but then they lose inevitably anyway. But, yeah, it's but like, they're just going for points. You'd think with that many kills and that much disruption, they'd actually do it. Because most of the time, they're just preying on people on the rooftops who are themselves not really accomplishing much. Yeah, and I was going to quit and find another match with uh, Dawnbreaker on it. Or, uh... What's the other one? Woo, stubby grip. Oh, I got heavy barrel for the MTAR. Is that any good? I want to say no. Okay. Better to have a suppressor. Yeah, I'm sorry, you, you want to get up close with people. You're not going to be you know, trying to fire at them from long range, so you wouldn't want to use the heavy barrel. Gotcha. Man, now that I've got the MG4 and the MTAR, it's like, why would I use any other gun ever? You know, I did like uh, Red Alert 3, especially the Sentry Bomber being Slim Pickens. Being what? Slim Pickens, the uh, bomber from Doctor Strangelove, actually. Oh. Like, well, it's not the same actor, obviously, but because he's just, dead, rest in peace. And they found a pretty damn good replay, uh, imitation. It's it's not like he's like a hard like person to imitate. True. The thing is though, like he wasn't even like playing a character. Like he no, like Doctor Doctor Strange, Major Kong was a completely serious role for for him. 
go with that. Ha ha. Well, hey, it's locker. Uh, you know what that means. What should I use? I guess I should go uh, smoke grenades and use my INRV MG4. Yeah, that'll get, work for you. Way to get points. <laughs> yeah, just remember if you you know using the MG4 to shoot through smoke, uh, don't have a laser sight on. I got to see that movie on the big screen. Our local theater played uh, Doctor Strange Love on the big screen like two and a half years ago. It's kind of tight. I should run with smoke more often, especially with support since getting grenades. A lot of incendiaries on my support. 